Imagine looking into a mirror that doesn't show just your reflection but the early days of the universe itself. A place where space and time were just beginning to form, still shaping the reality we live in today. That's exactly what the James Webb Space Telescope was built to do. It looks far into space to see the light from the first stars and galaxies, reaching back billions of years. Scientists thought they knew what they would find. They expected to see the quiet, early stages of the universe, simple clouds of gas just starting to come together. Instead, Webb found something completely unexpected. Not chaos or simplicity, but fully formed galaxies already spinning and glowing with stars. These galaxies had spiral arms, star clusters, and even supermassive black holes. They were complex and organized, appearing when the universe was still very young. It was like discovering a full-grown tree where only a seed was supposed to be. These galaxies shouldn't have existed yet, but there they were. More galaxies kept appearing in Webb's images, and each one seemed even older and more developed than the last. Scientists expected to see faint smudges of light, but Webb showed them brilliant structures glowing with energy. The galaxies weren't just forming, they were already matured. It's like the universe skipped its early years and jumped straight into adulthood. For years, we believed galaxies needed billions of years to grow and become stable. But Webb's data says otherwise. In just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, stars had already formed, grouped into galaxies, and begun evolving. This defies everything we thought we knew. It means the universe worked much faster in its early days than we ever imagined. Not only were these galaxies complex, but they also had elements like oxygen, carbon, and iron, which take time to create in stars. These elements are made when massive stars die and explode, spreading heavy materials into space. That process usually takes billions of years. But Webb found these materials in galaxies only 400 million years after the Big Bang. That's shockingly fast. The presence of these elements so early means that stars had already been born and died, and new ones had already formed. This means that the ingredients for planets, and even life, were around far sooner than expected. Finding these elements so early is like finding a fully built city just minutes after laying the foundation. And then came the discovery of enormous black holes. One galaxy had a black hole more than a billion times the mass of our sun. Black holes are supposed to grow slowly over time. But this one was already huge when the universe was still very young. Even the best computer models can't explain how it could have grown so quickly. Some scientists now think these black holes formed in new, unknown ways, maybe from dense clouds collapsing directly, or from effects caused by dark matter. These ideas are not just small changes in science. They could rewrite everything we know about how the universe works. Webb also found something else, organic molecules drifting through space. These are the basic parts of amino acids, which are needed for life. They weren't tied to any planet or star. They were just floating freely in space, from the universe's earliest moments. That means the building blocks of life may have existed almost from the beginning of time. Even more strangely, Webb saw galaxies arranged in perfect patterns, like petals spinning around a central point. Some scientists think this could be caused by gravitational lensing or leftover energy from the early universe. But the patterns were so precise that a few researchers asked whether they could be intentional or part of a larger cosmic design. And that's where things get truly mysterious. In quantum physics, observing something can actually change it. Galaxies forming too fast, black holes growing too large, molecules appearing too early, all of it points to a universe far more active than we ever guessed. Webb's discoveries challenge everything we believed about time, space, and how the cosmos works. Maybe the universe is more than a collection of stars and galaxies.
maybe it's a living story that we're only beginning to read. With each new image, we step closer to truths that were once beyond our imagination. The questions grow bigger, and so do the possibilities. And perhaps, the most important discovery is not out there in space, but in how these findings change us, here on Earth. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.